John Champion here, alongside me, Jim Beglin, and we're up in the commentary box for what we hope will be a great football match here in the Sand Mammoths. Hello, John. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's hope it lives up to all our expectations. Let's take a look then at the two teams. So, Jim, share your thoughts before we kick off. Well, both teams have spent enough time on preparation. I mean, physically and tactically, they should be in perfect condition. It might come down to look today, you know. Off we go, then. This is lovely passing to watch. Could be a chance now. And the keeper's there to claim it. Well, that was worth the effort. I mean, it was a long way out, but he caught it so well. Slides it through, the space on the wing, he crosses it in. Good defence there, breaking up the attacking flow. It's going right across the goal. A vital interception, that. Quarter of an hour played. He's onside, he can take the shot on here, parried away. Just how wasteful was that? It's on for him. He's got in. Wants to get this forward. Tries to slide it past the defence. It's very well defended. Onside. Here's a strike, and it's a really well taken goal. One nil. It's incredible how he managed to steer that one in. I don't think the keeper could get a clear view of that, but it still needed to be soundly struck and he managed enough power, OK? So we start again at 1-0. Well, let's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. This is a promising run. Through to the flank. And he crosses it into the middle. It's a poor clearance. Tried to play it through. It's a possibility here for a shot. They've scored. Have done it. They're back on level terms. Oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. 
in a straight duel like that, there was only going to be one winner. I just thought he was alert and direct. There was no messing about. He was too quick for the keeper, and that's a fine finish. They kick off with parity restored. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. The whistle goes to signify half-time. Yeah, it's been tight and cagey. Both teams have cancelled each other out. For me, it's a little surprising we've actually had a couple of goals in that first half. One all as it stands, so nothing to separate them. Got it. Plays it upfield. Plays this forward. Poor ball that's intercepted. The linesman's kept his flag down. Wants to get this forward. Plays this forward. Got it. He's got in. Promising run down the byline. He's latched onto it. Oh, he's lost it. Pass intercepted. Now the chance. Well, if they're going to trouble this opposition, then every single player has to contribute more. Their passing needs a serious lift. Switches play to the other side. Didn't get the ball there. Free kick. Well, I think it might be a touch too far to have a go at goal, but I've been proven wrong in the past, and maybe again. He knocks it in. minutes played in the second half it's on for him intercepts the pass well the passing is not quite the problem they just need better movement if they're going to drag this defense out of position and he launches it forward out by the defence plays this forward no that won't be finding its target he's got in could be the last chance for a cross they're not quite out of danger yet the referee blows and it's all over. Honours even then between these two sides, neither team able to come up with the winner. But I don't think the two managers will be too displeased with the result here. Well, each side just matched each other all the way. That was such a close, close contest.